You know, when people are building and they're taking into account the amount of time it takes to build a plane, I don't know if they actually take into the amount of time that you sit here and ponder the plans. I'm building from scratch, so it's a little more difficult. Even when you're building a kit, and when we built the first kit, a Challenger, we sat there and hoed and hummed about how to put different parts, different aspects together. Just doing the wings, still, um, is interesting. This drawing here, for example, notice I added the word left here. This is the front face of the spar. Here's the spar. I got it set there. I wrote left front on it because I'm going to do that one first. So on the left front, this is going to be on the front face of the spar. You'll have to keep track because it's at the lower end of the spar, so it's down lower. This is the attach mount where it attaches to the body, the fuselage. So now we go over to the side view of that. And again, this is on the front face of the spar. I put left in there just so I can keep it straight in my head. Because when you're building the right spar, you're going to have to do everything exactly backwards. So this won't be when you're looking at it from the edge. won't be the front. This will be the front. And I was trying to figure out what's the difference here. And if you line up the spar... This little piece right here, DHAW2, is a metal bracket. So you shim, basically, your spar out to the point where that little metal bracket will be flush with the outside of the spar. Now, if you look on the back edge of the spar, when it's flush, DAW2 is flush there as well. Okay, it didn't look flush right there. Yeah, it's flush. So DAW2's got to be flush. So what you do is building it out so that it's flush with the outside of that back spar. Okay, good. I'm thinking as you're thinking here, so I'm just looking and making sure I understand what's going on here. So that's the left front of the spar here. When this is turned around onto the right side, theoretically, the bolt will go in the other way, and then that would be the front on the right side of the spar. And we've got all the same, I'm building it out here. 16, and I'm just, that's why I was trying to figure out, because this one looks like it's got an extra 16th, this DHW6B, and DHW6A, I don't see the 6B on the back side there, and that's why in my head I was going, that's built out a little, a 16th further on this side than it is on that side. And they're wrong? Or do they just not show it? DHW6 there. Yeah, there's a little thing there, but I think that's just the, the 6A. This one definitely has a 6B in there. But when I put this straight edge on there, that comes out flush and you don't see the 6B. And when you put the straight edge flush on the other side, it's flush there. So, I don't know, it seems to be a 16th closer to this side than it is to that side. It shouldn't be if this was right in the middle. 
you would figure that you wouldn't need an extra 16th there. Now, someone can tell me, or somebody knows out there, where the heck that is, but I've been sitting here and I've been talking now for five minutes about this stupid thing just for you guys. So, when you're building, do you take into amount of time that you just sit here and ponder these plans and wonder what the heck you're doing? I'm going to continue pondering. 